So this is about building custom events, which is known as action. So the fourth type of process is known as actions. Actions are nothing but custom events or messages that can be defined for an entity. So by default in your CRM system, we got a set of events. Every uh, entity, if you look at every record, if you look at other ribbon, you'll be able to see certain operations like create, update, delete, read, write, and etc. These are the events or messages we call it. And if I just want to create a custom event for an entity type, I can just do that with the help of actions. So which will I will create with the help of UI only. Using UI, I can create a custom event in the CRM system. And this action, once it's created, is basically going to create an event in the CRM system. Then which I can just run by a plugin, I can call it by a plugin, I can call it by workflow, or even I can just uh, use it from JavaScript. So it is basically going to create a new event in the CRM system. So when you're creating an action, the first step is very similar to, or almost similar to the way you just create a workflow or a dialogue. You just need to select the process name, a category, which has action here, and then select an entity. The only difference here is we have an option to select a global op value over here. So when I say none global mean it won't be uh, related to any particular entity, but it will be global. It is a global event. I can use that for it. That means just like create. Create is there for every entity in the CRM system for every record, right? So very similar to that, I can just select the entity here. So like that, I can create an action by selecting uh, an entity here or make it as a global one. And then actions can take inputs. It will take input argument as well as output argument. Action has some similarities with the workflows because workflow also take inputs and then it's give output back also. Uh, it will take arguments, then it will execute. Now once workflow, sorry, once an action is triggered, then it can trigger an event handler. So workflow is an event handler in the CRM system, which you create with the help of UI. And plugin is also an event handler. These two are event handlers. But plugin we create with the help of code, dotnet code, and workflow we create with the help of UI. And then once an event is created, then I can trigger a workflow, workflow kind of stuff, or I can trigger a plugin also from an action. That is the advantage also here. I can trigger how I can trigger it. So two, three things are here. One is how to trigger the work action. Second thing is what get triggered by an action. So action is just an event. So if I use performing a normal create operation. I'm clicking on it so that will perform a create operation. After that, I can trigger a plugin on it or a workflow on it. So this event is just an event that will cause one some cause something to perform. Now I'm creating such kind of an event, so someone need to trigger that. So if I just want to trigger on a button, I just need to uh, link this action with the button so that I click on a button it will trigger. And when it is this event is triggered, then I can trigger a workflow steps or a plugin on that one. So how to trigger that one? That's what we are saying here. From the server side code or client side code or workflow or dialogue, we can just trigger an action. It's under a process name, a, under a unique name, entity name, etc. you mentioned and the category. So like that you create an action and then that action you can trigger. There are multiple things I just need to talk about action because action I cannot complete here. Actually, once you create an action, it will be triggered. So for example, on account, I just need to have a button with the name approve. On click of that, it should send an email to the account owner as well as it should uh, change the status of the account record into action. I mean, why not? I know that I can change the status of a account record into active or submitted or whatever, and then I can send an email. So these are two different things, but I just need to club this functionality into a single button click. So such kind of scenario, we use action. That means we don't have an approve button on my account form at all. So once I click on that approve button, it has to just perform a unique operation where it is performing two or three operations together. Yeah, anything if I talk about any action, custom thing, if I talk about it will be some things already happen in the system. Sending an email is already possible, right? It's ch changing the status of the system which is already possible. So almost all the uh, events which is needed in a CRM system is, is present in the system. When I'm talking about special event or a, a new event mean, it will be, a, I mean, it will be combining a set of events such kind of an event can be triggered by combining the existing event and then you can just trigger from a button click or from calling from a code etc that is known as a, an action so action also can be accessed from here go to process and then here i have a set of processes with category as action i'll select one actions let me open this one so this is an action this is a name of the process or action this is unique in name of it which entity it is and category it's action 
and it is taking one input with the name result. I don't know what this action is doing and randomly select one. So result, it is taking a string as an input and I can add more if I want to, it is activated. I just have to deactivate it. Then I can make the changes. So here you have, I'm just uh, customizing an action. So this is the process name, this is the name of it. This is the input. Yeah, this is a result. It is an output basically. So like this, I can create more input and output values here. You just need to select click here and then I can select any, any value. I can say like this one is working on project. So I can say project name is an input. What is the type of the input I can select? So I can select, make it as a GUID or entity. Which entity it is? I can select that. It will be project. I can make it as input if I want to, or I can simply remove it. So I have some output over here. I don't want to change the existing one. That's it. And just save it. So I just create an event if I just save this one. So there is an event. You can see it is not doing anything over here. So someone has to trigger this event now. And when this event is triggered, it can be, it can perform something like triggering a workflow, etc. So here you just have the action. Now you just need to trigger this action. You just need to activate it. And what you can do here is in this action, like I mentioned, once you create an action, it will trigger. So how to trigger that, I'll show you. And one more step I have here is here I can add step set of stages here, like create a record and etc. You can just add it here. For example, if I just want to create an account record, etc. Set the properties. That means when this event happened, it will create an account record, which is something similar to your workflow. In workflow, also we do the same thing, right? So like that, it is performing the operation of the workflows because I don't have any way to just link a workflow to a custom event. So in order to avoid that one, what I can do is I can just link something similar to a workflow. It will just perform that. It will create an account record here. So when this event is triggered, it will just create this task. And now also in the same way, we get a process with this name, MS Dynamics underscore auto generate project team. That is a kind of, uh, that is the process will be, uh, sorry, event will be created. Then I can register a plugin also on that. So when I go to the plugin side, I mean, what is a plugin chapter, then I'll explain you how we can trigger a plugin with a event. So there are so many existing events are there and this will also appear as an event on, on which I can register a plugin. But when it is a workflow, I can just add those steps here itself because there is no other way I can link a workflow with a action. So here itself, I can just add this step. So I just create an event or I just utilize it one. What is the name of it? Auto generate project team. Now I can call it from a code or I can just call it from a workflow. Workflow would be easier. So this is just a triggering of the event. So what I can do is after creating this event and activating it, I can just go to any workflow where I'll have an option perform action. So where I can link this particular action so that this event will be triggered. Then after that event, what it will do depends upon what is mentioned inside this event or action or which plugin has been registered with this particular action. So that will trigger. So this is a action which is I have activated and minimize that. Then I just go to another workflow here I have a workflow for example I don't know it's a random one again select that workflow from there we have a step perform action so I can just deactivate a workflow so here add a step and then you just perform action I can what was the name of that one approve project so this is a set of action I have I think this one is approval rejects a same generic resource something like that yeah sorry this one auto generate project team which is on project entity and then it is showing an error message because I just need to set some properties. It might be expecting some input arguments, which I can just set. So next time what happened is next time when this workflow triggers, this, this workflow will trigger on which event, on creator, which record. Let me just select it. Page notification. So next time whenever page notification getting created, this workflow will trigger and this workflow will call the sections and what will happen is this particular event will be triggered. So it is expecting which entity it is because it is a generic event. So we have to tell which record has to be triggered. Always. It is expecting a target for it. So I just, we just need to select an entity here. You can select it from here itself. So I just need to select an entity and then I just need to select as the target one. These two entities are not very related. That's why it is because there is no connection between this particular uh, page notification and account. That's why I'm not able to select here. Okay. But otherwise I will be able to select the values from here. Select for an entity here and select for a field here. So that field will go here. Okay. And these two entities just don't have any relationship at all. So like this, I just trigger a particular event. I'll trigger it. Once it is triggered, then I, like I said, it will perform whatever action is supposed to do or whichever plugin it will do. So that's how we just create an action. So I just need to explain a little more on this one. 
So just to give a I mean, high level idea, an action is nothing but an event which is custom created and it will work exactly like the way, uh, I mean, uh, standard even in your CRM system. And it can be triggered by a workflow or a dialogue or it can be triggered by the code, etc. Once it is triggered, it will perform certain operation that's like a workflow steps or a plugin can be registered on that. I hope it gave you some idea about actions.